Namaste, I'm Master Kamal again. And here again for the hip exercises. I covered some exercises in the previous video. Now I'm going to cover some exercises. Which are very good to keep your mobility in the hips and helps strengthen your hips. So here we go. The first one is sitting like this in Namaste. Okay, feet flat. In the beginning, some of you might feel difficult to place your knee down. So you can use a towel, put it under your heels, so you can actually get that. By time, you can take the towels off it. This is very good not only to open the hip, it's very good for the back. This is a deep stretch in the hips, thighs, even the lower back. Now this one, you sit this way with your elbows pushing against your knees and your hands in your heart center. Now you breathe in and stand up. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. By time, you can do fast. Okay. Do this 10 times. Next one, very good for the hips, is just release the arms, put one hand in the middle, the other hand in the back. Now draw the left knee, then the right knee, then move your hands back. One, two, three, four, five. Come back. Place the hands back again in the center, one at the center, one at the back. Lift yourself up. Now change the hand. Drop this, then this one, and place the hand on the knee. Come back. One, two, three, four, five. Again, return. Place the hand on the middle. Lift yourself up. Like this, we do five rounds. Very good to open your hips. Not a challenging one, but you can try. By time you get it. This is called the warrior lunge. Stand with your feet wide apart and you raise up and make a fist like this, thumbs up, breathe down, breathe in and as you breathe out, sit to right side, right leg and stretch it out. You let go stretch like this, your hand is one, two, three, four, five. Use the thigh muscle, stand up, then turn. One, two, three, four, five, up. But if you find this difficult, practice by placing hands on the ground and then you sit. One, two, three, four, five, and up. And then this hand. One, two, three, four, five. This is how you practice. Do this ten sets. Right, left, right, left, right, left. Very good to help open your hips and hamstrings. Sometimes your hips are tight because your hamstrings are very tight. Even your back could be tight because of the hamstring. This technique helps. Now the next one. Same way but a little variation. Sit, draw, stretch. One, two, three, four, five. Lift up. Raise and sit. Drop the knee. Turn. One, two, three, four, five. Relax. Stretch up. A little challenging, but I'm sure I know you can. So these are the best exercises, and I want to add one more exercise, which is very good. Is the pigeon half pigeon pose? So you come like this, and all of those bring it to the right first, like this. Okay, wait here five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. Now move your right feet to your left hand and drop the right knee to the right side. 
and sit tall at first. This will really help your hips become very healthy. Now stay here and you can place your hands, one hand on this knee, another hand on the feet, opening the cup. One, two, three, four, five. And now slowly lift up and drop back. Relax for a while. Same, repeat the other side. Left front, sit your hip down, Got one, two, three, four, five. Now walk your left feet to the right hand side and right left knee drop to the left side. Now sitting like this, it's an open chest to cut. Five, four, three, two, one. And we'll look front, lift up, walk back. Step back in the child. Relax. That's all for now. I'm, I'm sure this exercise will help strengthen your hips and repair any tear or wear in your muscles and hips. And you feel healthy and strong and you can walk strong, even, even run or you can do your sports very actively, very well by doing these exercises. So keep them as warm as well, they help you a lot. Namaste. See you again in the next video. Until then, goodbye.